has not been the easiest start for Newcastle. How do you assess how it's gone so far? It's been uh, dismal so far. I mean, it's been very, very poor. Um, I thought Steve McLaren coming in would, would, uh, would be the catalyst for the club to go. Certainly push forward a little bit more with Mike Ash's statement in the last season as well that he's going to spend money, which, which they have done. Um, but they've still struggled. I mean, the, the ball players, which um, are not used to the Premier League, although although very good. Ronaldo's been in and out, very, very inconsistent, scores four goals in one game, and then we don't see him for two or three games. And you have to have consistency in the, in the Premier League, otherwise you're struggling. This is what Newcastle are doing. Uh, Mitrovic, has he got what it takes to be a Newcastle centre forward? Well, he's certainly he's only very young. People don't realise he's only twenty odd. And um, but again, he's, he's coming into a Premier League. So it's, the, it's the toughest league in the world. Um, he, again, he needs consistency. But he also needs people to create chances for him. He's uh, potentially um, he, he looks very good. Um, but at the moment, we're not we're not seeing the best of him. Some of it's down to himself, and some of it's down to maybe the service he's getting. What you mean, is Jamie Vardy is extraordinary goal scorer. Yeah. Brilliant. I've, I've been saying for years that there's. Um, there are players in the, in the, in the non-league and the lower leagues that, that certainly can play at a high level, and uh, I think he's fantastic for 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 the players that, that are playing those leagues and looking up and saying, you know, three or four years ago, this Jamie Vardy is where I am, and look at him now. But it's it's he's worked his um, he's worked his socks off. He, he, you see him in games; he worked so hard. Maybe before when he was a start at Fleetwood and Leicester, he maybe didn't get the goals he should have got. Um, but now he's, as well as his work rate and getting great positions, he's, uh, he's finished and he's been brilliant this season and uh, long may continue for him. And just a quick word on West Ham. Yeah, looked so good at the start of the season, then well beaten at Spurs the other day. Uh, listen, West Ham are a good team. They've got some good players. Pyatt's a big miss. He, he looks a, he's a top four club player, really. Um, West Ham done brilliantly to get him. But they're not a one man team, they've got some very, very good players. I think they've just got to be realistic about it. They had some great results, you know, Arsenal and, and Liverpool away, uh, some fantastic results. But they just got to be realistic of where, where they where they are in, in the in the um, in the chain. Really, I think if they can get pushed up in the top ten, I think they'd be pleased with that. I mean, I think people talking about Champions League is a little bit over the top.